Hi, let's go on felt trip together. My lovely husband, Mr. Cute Felts, is taking me to airport because I'm flying out to the UK to visit my felting friends and to see Yarndale. And I'm taking you with me. I will try to fit everything I buy in this small luggage, so wish me luck. Here is my flight to Leeds. I'm at the airport a bit early, so I had to find a nice place to work from because this is not a day off for me. I think I found a lovely spot with beautiful view. And here we go. Guess who's one happy felter? Yes, I stayed with Philippa, who we all know from her channel, Felts by Philippa, and she's absolutely lovely. I still can't believe I was in this room and I met my little chicken here. He's now having fun with these beautiful Highland cows who are quite huge. It was lovely to see Philippa's makes in real life. They are just beyond gorgeous in quality and all the colors and details. As you probably already know, she has lovely PDF tutorials and courses, so in case you haven't checked them out, I will leave links in the description of this video. She was absolutely spoiling me and we even went to World of Wool because their shop is now open. I was not allowed to film in there, so I will tell you more about the experience and all the goodies in my next felt chat, but here is a little sneak peek. I tried to be reasonable and a good girl. We had a beautiful walk together, the nature here is absolutely amazing and of course all the animals. I didn't spot any highland cows, so I believe I will have to come back, but there were loads of cows and sheep around. I was also lucky to meet Philippa's dogs, they do have their own channel, so I will leave the link up in the cards and in the description so you can check it out, they are just lovely. They showed me around all the best places and they even posed for some photos. This is the lovely Sapphire. I will truly miss all the beautiful views and cozy conversations with Philippa and her lovely family. I didn't took any videos with her, so here's just a cute photo of us. It's the Saturday and it's time for us to go to the Yarndale. The weather was just amazing and look at all those cute sheep up there. Only now I realize that this is for real, I'm at the Yarndale. Philippa was also making a vlog, I will leave link in cards and description for you. Look at the place, it was absolutely gorgeous. Have you ever seen so many crocheted flags? I'm still thinking about the amount of yarn and work it took. Yarndale is of course a wool festival, as you can probably tell, and each year they do have a special sheep. Here they all are together, my favorite one is this one, but there were loads of crocheted decor all around. This event space is usually used for selling animals, so it was a pretty unusual place for me, but everyone had decorated their stalls really pretty. Here is this year's creative project. They have one every year and they are supporting charities. The place was pretty busy really fast. I do not knit or crochet, but it was really hard not to buy all those colorful yarns. It was just a color explosion all around. Throughout this portion of the video, you will find names of the vendors on the corner on the screen, and I will also link their shops or social media in the link in description. It wouldn't be wool festival without woolly animals. There were sheep, goats and many others, and it was just lovely. 
Now let's get into felts. Look at these alpaca cushions. They are so lovely. The idea of adding the curl, natural as it is, is super simple, but it looks so effective. Just love it. They also had cards with clever felt details. Adeline Walker had absolutely amazing style. It's every felter's dream, I would say. The range they offer is absolutely amazing. Check their website, I didn't film everything because it would take ages and this would be a really long video. But I instantly spotted these wool naps and I'm taking this colorful blend. There were also carded wool and wool tops, some natural wools and books. But what I loved the most was the wet felting section. They are carrying these washboards from Heartfelt Silks and I think they are just amazing. They're super high quality, have great protection from the water and the shapes are just amazing. You can get in every little corner and make amazing projects with these tools. Definitely tempted to getting some. Another wonder that blew my mind away was this lovely lady. She had the most dreamy blends you could ever want and of course the locks. The locks had beautiful pastel colors and I just got myself some because I couldn't resist. They're just beyond perfect. This vendor had some lovely and clever bags and wedding wreaths. I don't know why, if you know, please explain me in the comments. If you are into wool accessories, Felt by Bridget is the place for you. She is truly lovely and I absolutely adore her hats, brooches and necklaces. Yarndale definitely gave me loads of inspiration for wool paintings. This artist was just breathtaking. There are some details using stitching, some nips added and locks, some embroidery, really clever and huge variety in the subject matter. Her stall just captivated me so much. Speaking of felt paintings, there were lovely landscape wet felting kits in another stall. They also had needle felting kits for all these lovely animals and what surprised me was the size of the kit. It's not bigger than a book and I believe the mat is not included but I'm not sure. They also do carry wool separately and look at these gorgeous colors. Please let me know in the comments if you know what are these silk cocoons used for. They look lovely but I wasn't sure I would make use of them so I left them there. Besides the felting materials they also had amazing felt art used not only as wool paintings and jewelry boxes but also wool bags that carried some beautiful colored battings and felting kits so you can learn how to create these beautiful paintings yourself. This is the one and only Stub the Fluff. Her setup was just amazing. Look at all those kits. She offers wide variety in kits and video classes. All items were made and you could look at them and see the results you could achieve using these kits. I also absolutely love the packaging. These huge organza bags are just amazing. Imagine walking home with one of them. They were a bit too large for me to fit my luggage, so they stayed there. She's truly creative, teaching everything from Father Christmas to realistic animals, colorful rooster and even little mushrooms and squirrels. I absolutely loved this. The next place we could call a filter's dream is the threshing barn. It was just huge and filled with fiber and fluff. All those little fiber paintings were truly inspirational. They had some interesting kits, for example this curls scarf kit. I wonder where you would wear those. Even tea towels had a little sheepy brush with them. Some raw fleece available at Annie Brown and of course her lovely, lovely wool paintings. I just absolutely love this little lighthouse. 
this love lighthouses, I guess, and her signature trees. Which viewer here was absolute jackpot for me because I came to Yarndale looking for those locks. We do not have them available in Latvia and these ones were gorgeous. I maybe took a little bit more than I need, but well, you don't know when the next opportunity comes. And the lady was super sweet and lovely there, she even spoiled me with adding a little bit more. Another takeaway from the yarn girl is to look at crochet items a bit more. There are such variety and they're so inspirational and I have tons of new ideas for my needle felting projects. Not only the items themselves, but also the way they are displayed can give you amazing ideas for your own projects. Here I am super happy at the end of my Yarndale adventure. I wonder if I was the only Latvian here. My lovely friend Tori did spot knit like Latvian book here. It has the lovely color work we carry in our mittens and socks. On the way out, everyone kept asking me, is my suitcase filled with wool? Oh, I wish it was. Here is a little sneak peek and I will tell you more about those lovely items in my next felt chat. I met my lovely felting friends from Felts by Philippa Patreon in Yarndale and the rest of my trip is spent with one of them. Tori took me to Scotland and it was absolutely amazing. This is our little trip to the beach. I still believe that all trains I see during this trip are going to the Hogwarts. There were gigantic seaweeds, I haven't seen such a big seaweed in my life and people were having fun with the crazy winds and flying kites and we also checked out something I don't have back at home. This is truly beautiful nature. I even took all my courage and went inside and turns out that birds are living in there. Here is me and the lovely Tori. I never managed to find Highland cows, but we saw some lovely piggies. I just had to send some cards to my loved ones and these are cards from Felts by Philippa. Needless to say, they are gorgeous and I was so happy to send them home. On my last day in this trip, we went to St. Andrews, which I will definitely visit again and treated ourselves with the best ice cream you can find. It was so, so delicious and the place is lovely. And of course, we had a little shower in Scotland. It was truly beautiful sunset flight back home. I absolutely loved this little felting trip and I still can't believe it really happened. I forgot to vlog little felting session we had with Tori, but I made this little bear for my husband. He will be finished at home. But now, thank you for watching this video and see you in my next one.